everybody welcome back to another vlog it is sunday morning so we're gonna do a little weekend vlog today we had the most glorious rainy morning yesterday it poured with rain for so long and we just sat in our bed with the windows open we sat in the living room with the windows open and just like enjoyed the rain it was freaking beautiful it was just so lovely and i just love the rain so i've learned um i also weirdly when i was doing my mascara this morning i discovered that i have like a this is embarrassing to admit i have like a like a red spot on my eye can you see that sorry trigger warning <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's either from the workout i did yesterday or potentially I sneezed really hard yesterday, like insanely hard. And I was just like, whoa, that was intense. And so I think that's what it was from. If it persists or if it starts hurting or anything like that, obviously I'll go to the doctor, but that was weird. So if you've had experiences with that, definitely let me know. Cause it freaked me out. I called my mom instantly. I was like, mom, what's going on? <laughs> she was like, you're fine. But yeah, anyways, I'll be fine. Um, yesterday also, I <laughs> got on my vlog channel to like read some of the comments and I saw a comment from someone being like, I'm so glad Alicia Marie like shouted you out in one of her TikToks. And I was like, wait, what? So then I checked my DMs and my TikTok notifications and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and a, a few days prior, Alicia had made a TikTok and she has a series I think called like creators I think you should follow or creators that like need more recognition or something like that. And she mentioned me, which was so nice. I freaking love Alicia. She said she watches my vlog. So th the, that thought actually is too much for me to simply bear. Like I am an OG YouTube girly. Like she's everything. She's the blueprint. She's an absolute icon. I am just like so grateful to her for, for mentioning me. That was so kind. And I love all the other people that she mentioned and I know a lot of them as well. So that was really exciting. And just a very thrilling way to start my weekend. Oh, there he is. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> for coffee <laughs> that means wrap it up um we are gonna go out on our usual sunday morning coffee walk we are slightly delayed it's like 10 o'clock we both just talked on the phone to our moms respectively in other rooms for like an hour and then drew's niece was like wait let me talk to carrie so then we facetime and we want to do our usual sunday routine go get some coffee, maybe walk to the park, maybe stop by the farmer's market, although it's kind of cloudy now, which is disappointing. Oh, the sun was just cold. I know. Someone was talking to my knees. <laughs> now it's gone. I had to talk to my bestie, I had to catch up. She'd let us know that the shoes we got her for Christmas broke the first time she wore them, so that's not embarrassing. So we'll have to get her some more of those. But anyway, good morning. This clip is too long. Let's go get some coffee and enjoy this lovely Sunday. Thank God. Get out my house. We just got home from our walk. We stopped and got some bagels on the way home and look at these freaking bagels. I got a bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel and Drew got a bacon, egg and cheese on a garlic bagel. How is it? Don't look at my mouth. It's so good. Nice. It's crunchy, crispy, crisp. <laughs> this angle is not ideal, but I do need to document the first bite because holy shit. Actually, I want to take a picture. Oh, down you go. Here we go. Taste test. Oops. She is, when I said everything, they said, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, it is much later now. It's about 1.30. We got home from eating our bagels and stuff. And is there smudge on this lens? Hold on. We got back from our cloudy morning walk. It is now like absolutely perfectly sunny outside, of course, because that's how it's been lately. I mean, that, that is like typical Southern California weather. It's like cloudy in the morning and then by like 1 p.m., I think it's like the marine layer, it burns off. We are at the last minute unexpectedly going to Arizona today. <laughs> It's kind of a long story. We have a family member that's in the hospital. Everything should be okay, but um, we're just gonna go back and have some time with family. I did have to move some plans around and I'm missing out 
on something which I'm sad about but life happens family comes first so um, the last what two hours that we've been home we've been packing my least favorite thing to do in the world but um I actually think I did quite all right here's where we're at here's what we've got we've got pajamas Drew's on the phone with his mom in the background um actually we're gonna try our very best we've never ever done this before we have never been like routine on vacation people this isn't vacation this is like just going home to see a family so we're gonna try our very best to like keep our routine so like workouts every day drinking our protein shakes you know that kind of thing just trying to like stay on our goals so i brought workout clothes for like every day that we're gone i brought a couple crew neck sweatshirts i brought one two i think i brought like five outfits just in case like we're gonna hopefully try to see our friends when we're there um we'll spend some time with our nieces you know that kind of stuff i want to be prepared so i brought like a couple new things i might do like a outfits of the week type of thing for instagram we'll see i got some jammies i got all of my i got my packing cube back here i don't know if you can see that i have my packing cube full of my bras underwear socks and accessories like hats and stuff comfy clothes like leggings sweaters to wear in the house couple of t-shirts shirts to lounge around in like just big oversized t-shirts i've got all of my toiletries back here all my shoes i think i brought like three pairs of shoes i brought a pair of cowboy boots because you just never know i bought i brought my sambas and then i'm gonna wear my converse which are sitting right there those white ones which i actually haven't worn since i was in san diego last time um in like december uh I was chasing the waves and I wasn't paying attention and it has, they have sand in them, but that's okay. And then yeah, I've got my, my toiletries bag. It has my makeup bag. I also have a bag of just like samples and little things that I want to give Drew's nieces and his mom and sister and stuff. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then that pink backpack over there is all of my like work stuff. So my laptop, um, my camera chargers, all the little ports and hard drives and chargers and everything that I need for like my job tech wise, because I will still be working when I'm there. It's still gonna be like a work every single day. Try to have a routine, but like in a different place. So we're gonna be staying with our moms, like my mom half the time, his mom half the time. So that is what we're doing. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna wear this. We basically would have already left by now, but the only thing that's still keeping us here is that we placed an order yesterday for our groceries to be delivered today and you can't cancel after a certain point. So as of like seven this morning, we weren't able to cancel. So we didn't know, we didn't have enough time. So our groceries are on their way, but they're like severely delayed. They were supposed to be here like by now and they're like still four stops away. So we're literally just waiting on our groceries. We're gonna take all of the like meats and things like that, put them in the freezer. Everything else should be fine in the fridge for a few days, but it's just like, oh man, you know. These things happen, life happens. I just realized that fan has been on this entire time, so I'm very sorry if you can hear that. But yeah, unexpected road trip vlog, let's do it. All right, I'm just heading up to the car to pack everything up, just like to get ahead of the game. And in a turn of events, the groceries have showed up. So that's good news because now we can literally leave and it's, I wanted to leave by two o'clock and it's what, 1.32? 38. Yes, perfect. So. Now we're gonna leave ahead of schedule. Ideal. All right, got all the groceries. We're getting everything unloaded. And we're just bringing almost everything with us. Drew is separating the chicken we got because we got like a huge pack of it. He's just separating it into like individual Ziploc bags and then we'll freeze them. And then everything else that's like mostly produce basically, we're gonna bring with us. And then we're also gonna bring <laughs> just like stuff for the week because why not we have the car we have the ability so we're gonna bring like our protein shake stuff so i have my chocolate protein powder drew has the same one that's unflavored and then he uses pb2 as well so we have that we're gonna basically make all the meals that we were gonna make for dinner this week but for our moms instead so we have taco bowls probably not spaghetti right we'll save that we're gonna do a bruschetta chicken yeah i got that yeah, she would. My mom, I think we made it for my mom and she really liked it. So we got breadcrumbs for bruschetta chicken. I'm gonna need to put that in a different bag. We're gonna make our own um, true fruits. Cause it's like, why am I spending so much money when I could probably do it myself? We got some jerky sticks for snacks, tortilla strips, tortillas. We gotta eat it, so we're gonna bring it with us. We're gonna bring all these bananas and freeze half of them for smoothies and etc. We'll probably just get coffee every day. We could bring our Nespresso, but I don't want to like fully move in. 
<laughs> just want to bring some food and then bring some clothes. And then I think that's pretty much it as far as the like actual grocery items. So we'll bring these. We have a freezer bag full of all of our produce, so like fruits, veggies, anything that could like be in a cooler bag with ice packs for a few hours that's like not gonna go bad. So just basically produce actually. And that's pretty much it. So it is 154. We have to take out the trash. See if it's closer. Yeah, we have like clothes that are like almost dry. Those. And then we're gonna hit the road. So let's do it. Oh, I need the keys so much. All right, we made it to our first stop. It is 4.30, so we're actually making good time. We should be arriving by 8.30, but that's really 7.30 LA time because Arizona is an hour ahead until daylight savings, which I think we will still be there for. We made our first stop in Coachella, or Indio. This is usually where we always stop. We're gonna get some gas. We don't really need it, but just top off a little bit and then get some snacks and then continue on in this weird dusty, like I thought it was raining at first, but then I think there was like a dust storm and the wind was blowing crazy, so fingers crossed for us. But we're doing it. We're almost halfway there. We got our gas. We're at this very romantic spot in a parking lot next to the freeway. <laughs> at a travel authority. Is that what these are called? TA? Yeah. Tits ass. Tits That's what ass. it stands for. Um, we're, a, we're a couple that has duality. I got Taco Bell and Drew got Arby's. I don't care what people say about Arby's, it's f***ing good. I actually love Arby's. I think that it's so underrated and like people who make it their full-time job to slander Arby's, like what are you doing? Have you never had a freaking delicious roast beef sandwich with Arby's sauce? What's yeah, wrong with Arby's you? Sauce. I just got chips and cheese and a quesadilla. So really heavy on the cheese tonight. Great. But you know, it's just my decision, my cross to bear later when I try to go to the bathroom. So we got the cheese sauce and we got hot sauce. Delicious. And this is our date night. We're back in Arizona. I'm trying to be quiet because it's, you know, like nine o'clock at night, but we just got into our room at Drew's mom's house and his niece that's seven was over here earlier and she knew we were coming. So she put up signs in our room for us to see when we come here. So here they are. We have this one that says, you are perfect. <laughs> I love her. This one says, I love you. <laughs> Look at the heart, it's a rainbow. Oh, angel. And then this one says, you are pretty. <laughs> oh my God, I love her so much. I can't wait to see her tomorrow. Good morning. Wow. 
I'm out of breath. I just finished my workout. I decided to stick with my workout routine and I'm really glad I did because I feel a lot better. I slept terribly last night. I kept having nightmares that because of that like stupid red spot on my eye that I was like losing vision. Anyway, it feels really good to have, you know, at least stuck to this part of my routine. I'm going to try to do it every single day that I'm here in Arizona. And I think for the next vlog, I'm going to film like a week in my life in Arizona because I never really film when I'm back home. Obviously like with, um, like stuff going on with the family. I'm not gonna like show everything, but I might show like little bits and pieces. I'm gonna still try to, like I mentioned, just try to maintain like as much normalcy as possible. So still continue to get work done, still edit, still probably film, honestly, um, you know, and just do it from a different location because I am so fortunate to be able to work anywhere. And that's actually like the huge overwhelming feeling that I had this morning when I woke up was just feeling so unbelievably grateful for this job, for all of you, this like amazing community of just the kindest, genuine people. Like the people who are here are the best people. You are all like so wonderful and lovely and supportive of me and just beyond what I could have ever imagined when I dreamed of starting a YouTube channel like 10 years ago. I just love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you. Grateful to be alive, grateful for my health, grateful that my biggest problem right now is a freaking red spot on my eyeball <laughs> like i mean there's just so much going on in the world and so many really 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 bad evil awful things and i just feel so unbelievably grateful i feel so grateful to be here and to be here with all of you and to be able to share bits and pieces of my life with all of you and share my insecurities and share my ups and downs of my mental health, share where I live and what I'm doing and you know, all those kinds of things. And you come back and you tune in and it just, it, it will never be lost on me how amazing that is and how lucky and fortunate and privileged I am to have you all here. So sorry for the, the side note, the tangent, but clearly the workout endorphins are going at the moment and I just feel so happy to be home. It feels really good to be home and so happy to be here with all of you. So anyway, I am going to go shower, get ready and do my morning routine and then I'm going to go meet up with my mom. She has a doctor's appointment today. I'm going to meet up with her after that and I think I'll, like I said, kind of continue on maybe, I don't know, to be determined but maybe film like a week in my life back home edition and just you know show you a different part of my life obviously like keeping most of my family and stuff private but yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this vlog thanks for unexpectedly coming back to arizona with us it was nice i think this was definitely the right move and yeah i will see you all very soon in the next vlog